Hello, it's Brick Bros UK and we have some cool news because Toys R Us Hong Kong has published images of the upcoming LEGO Star Wars Jedi Starfighter with Hyperdrive set 75191, which we assume is another set for the Summer Wave, so should release in June. It's also priced at a thousand Hong Kong dollars, which roughly works out at about a hundred pounds or 130 US dollars, so we're not sure if this is right because it seems very pricey, but it could be a very high price count because you get two big set builds. And they are Obi-Wan's dark red and white Jedi Starfighter from Episode 2, which we last saw in LEGO as a UCS set in 2010, and a minifigure version was last made way back in 2002 for the movie, so it might please fans at last to see an updated Jedi Starfighter for Obi-Wan. But the stud shooter weapons do look out of place on it, and we personally would have preferred hidden spring-loaded missiles. And the other build is the large hyperdrive ring for the Starfighter, which is a build LEGO rarely make for Starfighter sets. But it's great they've added in this hyperdrive ring because it's got spring loaded missiles on it for play, big engines and a handle so you can dock the starfighter in it to fly off to use the hyperdrive, but it also has a trigger so the fighter can quickly release again. Plus for collectors the hyperdrive ring can stand up on a flat surface so you can display it too with the fighter, which is clever and we love its complex technic construction adding to its unique look. You also get three minifigures who are Jango Fett that's the same minifigure that came in the 2013 core. Corporate Alliance tank droid set, so it's nice he's available for fans again. There's also young Boba Fett, who looks just like the minifigure that came in the 2013 Star Wars advent calendar, except his blue robes look lighter now. And of course, to pilot the Starfighter, you get Obi-Wan Kenobi, who we thought might have the same robe as the minifigure in last year's Jedi Interceptor set, but they've decided to give him new robes, plus he has long hair for his Episode 2 style, which is cool. And he's accompanied by R4, who is the same droid from last year's Obi-Wan's Jedi Interceptor set. So in all it's a good range of minifigures from episode 2 and our favourite is Jango Fett. On a final note, the upcoming Jedi Starfighter with Hyperdrive was a set we didn't expect to see this summer, because LEGO rarely make Episode 2 sets. But it's cool they've decided to create a large Hyperdrive for a Starfighter again, because it's a complex build and it would be awesome to use in play to reenact the Episode 2 movie scenes, or to use it as a display piece. And for the minifigures it's good to get Jango with his son, but if you got Obi-Wan's Jedi Interceptor last year, R4 and Obi might not interest you that much. And for us, the price at £100 does seem way over the top for what you get and we personally feel fans would have preferred to have seen a Slave 1 with Django and Boba instead because we haven't seen a Jango Fett Slave 1 set for a long time but that's just our opinion so please tell us what you think of the set by leaving a comment below. And that's all the news we have and hopefully in the near future we should be able to update all of you on the official price for this set because it doesn't seem right at the moment. Hope you enjoyed a Brick Bros UK Lego news update and don't forget to check Check out our channel for the latest LEGO news and like, comment and subscribe to Brick Bros UK.